Churchill called Truman and said he thought the American people were not fully aware of what Joe Stalin was doing in Europe. He was gradually extending the Russian occupied, the war was over, Russia extending the occupied areas that the Russians held. And uh, he was, uh, he was uh, closing off the Western Europe from, from the East. And he wanted to warn the American people what was happening. And Truman said, come here and make a speech and you tell us. Truman said, you come make a speech and I will introduce you and be on a platform with you. Uh, Churchill came. He flew to Washington. They got on to the president's private train, which he had be, uh, inherited from Roosevelt. It's called a Ferdinand Magellan private car. It had uh, two feet of cement on the bottom of it in case it ran over a bomb. It had all kinds of exits in case of an accident so a crippled president could get out of it. And um, we, uh, about six or eight reporters went with him, including me. And um, he uh, had his private car and we had another car just ahead of his. And a time or two, we were invited back to see him, talk to him, ask questions. And Churchill was there, and he put on his jumpsuit, which he was famous for during the war. That's one of those suits that zip up the front. It's quick to get into and quick to get out of. I wish they were fashionable because <laughs> it's very appealing. You don't have to do all the buttoning. And the... Anyway, um, uh, poker games started. And Churchill, it was at Churchill's instigation, he said to the president, I understand you play poker. Truman said, yes, I do, we'll have a game. And the game started and uh, Churchill kept losing. It appeared he didn't really understand the fine points of uh, poker as, it's, um, as Americans play it. He went out to, um, I guess the bathroom, I don't know. And he came back, and while he was out, Truman said to the players, listen, this man's oratory saved the Western world. We are forever indebted to him. We're not going to take his money. Let him win. <laughs> and people turned uh, winning hands, three of a kind, straights, and so on. And Churchill won, because <laughs> Truman ordered him to win, ordered us to let him win. So <laughs> this is one of my fond memories.